MIDI technology has been at a tipping point for a while now. You know, technology like MPE has been built to expand its abilities. And MIDI 2.0 is around the corner, promising to bring super efficient and flexible workflows to the Lumitone. But as we wait for the revolution to come, your Lumitone makes use of the 128 MIDI note numbers to work its magic. So let's take a look at how this system applies itself to the Lumitone. So I've noticed in comments that sometimes there's a little confusion when it comes to how we lay out notes, especially microtonal ones, in any given Lumitone mapping. Lumitone is gearing up to take full advantage of MPE and MIDI 2.0, which will allow us to assign pitch to any given key right inside the editor software. And this is coming very soon. But for now, we need to use MIDI note numbers to communicate with our synths and virtual instruments to tell them what pitch should be triggered when engaged. In a nutshell, MIDI note numbers are messages that range from zero to 127. Across the 128 different MIDI notes, there is room for 10 full octaves with a partial 11th octave squeezed in there. Each different MIDI note number is sent to whatever instrument you're controlling and it's that sound generating instrument that decides how to convert that MIDI note number to a pitch. Now you can use microtonal ready instruments to manipulate those note numbers to be interpreted according to different tunings. And we'll talk about that in other videos. But in a standard Western 12 note per octave tuning, virtual instruments by default interpret note numbers as the same pitches on all instruments. That means Lumitone is plug and play in standard tunings. So let's just first take a look at how this all works with a simple 12 tone Lumitone mapping. So with the standard 12 note per octave Boson Cat layout, we have our lowest note assigned to MIDI note 24, which corresponds to the lowest possible C played on a piano. From there, we increase one semitone per MIDI note, with 25 representing C sharp, 26 representing D, and 27 representing D sharp, and so on. And with the standard Bosenkett Wilson layout, we have repeating notes moving vertically down the board, which we can see with these repeating MIDI notes. But moving horizontally, we start to ascend up in octaves, moving to section two, we land on C2 with MIDI note 36. One octave up in section three, we have C3 with MIDI note 48. And one octave up from there, we hit our middle C, also known as C4, with our MIDI note 60. That leaves the final section of this mapping to represent the fifth full octave on the piano. So this is the standard way MIDI note numbers correspond with musical notes and DAWs and virtual instruments by default speak this language. So what about microtonal mappings? This is where standard MIDI notes corresponding with musical notes get shaken up a bit. So let's see an example of how we can use MIDI note numbers to communicate microtonal pitches. Okay, so I've got Lumitone's default 31 EDO mapping pulled up here. So for those of you not familiar, we're now splitting the octave up by 31 notes instead of just the standard 12. So, in the case of going from C to D, we now have... The MIDI note numbers are still increasing by one for each interval, but they're no longer semitones, they're microtones. So if we follow the pattern that I just played, our 62 was our C, moving up to the 63 was our D double flat, 64 is our C sharp, down here at 65 is our D flat, up here to 66 is our C double sharp, and 67 is our D natural. And they're laid out sequentially in such a way that the 31 EDO mapping can be recognized once we tell the virtual instrument we're controlling that we want to divide the octave by 31 notes instead of simply 12. 
And that is the important distinction. You know, if we were to just attempt to play this mapping in a virtual instrument that wasn't set up microtonally, we'd just get an odd scattering of the 12 notes. But by using a virtual instrument with microtuning abilities, in this case, piano tech, we can tell it by how many notes we'd like to split up the octave. And now the MIDI note numbers in the 31 EDO mapping will be interpreted correctly when you're controlling piano tech. So hopefully this clears up any confusion in how we interpret pitch in virtual instruments using MIDI notes on Lumitone mappings. As they recently announced, Lumitone will be integrating MPE in the months ahead, which will allow us to assign pitch directly to the keys in the editor. That will be a game changer, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, there's nothing stopping you from playing both standard and microtonal tunings to your heart's content. Hitting that like or subscribe button will keep you notified with our updates. But even if you don't, thanks for watching.